Welcome. In this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about malware. And uh, I had a question about what do I use for malware analysis? Is there anything that has one-stop shopping with all the tools that you would need? So it's a good question. Thank you for that question. Um, yes, the answer is yes. Um, Remnux is a real good tool. It has everything that you need built in. And uh, even, even more than that, it has very good documentation. And I'll leave a link in the description to, uh, to their website where you can download this. It is free uh, based on Linux and um, it has everything that you need. Now, the reason I mention the documentation is so much of what you are going to do as an ethical hacker or are doing as an ethical hacker is research, trying to find an answer to a question or trying to figure out what the code is doing and why is it doing it and uh, so much of your time is spent just looking at a monitor and trying to figure out what uh, the proper syntax is to make something work uh, unfortunately that's that's the job is trying to figure out what's going on make it work and then think through whatever the issue is, whether it is uh, putting together threat models or whether it is malware analysis. It all comes from the same place. You're going to have to RTFM. And uh, the manual is, is going to be your friend. Search engines are going to be your friends. And uh, so much of what you do is going to be spent with those things, but uh, Remnix is is great in the aspect that it has real good documentation. Again, it it walks you through how to set it up. It it takes you all the way through how you would do different installs, how you would set the system up if you're using it in different capacity. Uh, virtual machine or you're going to run it in a, a docker or something like that um, and then it breaks down all of the tools into categories so I just I love this tool it's uh, it's well thought out it's well documented so you can find the answers that you need and and so kudos to the folks that design this. So I do have a copy of this running as a VM and if you start up here at the activities and take a look at the tool sets that are included in this it it really has everything that you need for malware analysis and it comes configured to where you're you're going to be safe with just a couple settings you're going to be able to isolate this machine and work on even some of the most dangerous malware samples that are out there um, it it has built in uh, like for instance CyberChef is something that you use a lot or at least I do uh, Gidra is another that I use a lot. One of my favorite text editors is uh, Citi, and it it's well. Let me just show you. I'll open this up, and I actually have a file that I'll open up, and it is in machine language. So you can kind of see, I'll make that a little bit bigger. This is just a, a quick program that says hello world and you have to compile it 
and maybe we'll do that in a future video and we'll talk about what's actually going on with the uh, with the A through D uh, segments and how they're moving and how the program is actually working but one thing that's nice about CITI is you can choose the language and it'll give you syntax highlighting which is always good. Um, I also like in in certain environments uh, a tool called Sublime Text. So it it does a good job as well. But inside this VM, uh, this tool is included. It's already there, and and it is a powerful tool. So um, I, I highly recommend that. Going back to the tool sets. Um, it has uh, calculators, it has hex editors, um, a lot of, of things that you're going to use. Uh, I recently did a video on uh, PostgreSQL and uh, here's a tool, PG Admin, um, that you can use when looking at a database. So. It's got everything in one place. Uh, it it is updated, so it's it's still being perfected and tools added, and the instructions do a, a really good job of how to set it up, how to make sure that you've got everything up to date, and and like I say, it's well documented, and that's what you're going to want because you're going to be in the manual so much looking to try to figure out okay I want to do this what tool is going to be the one and then how do I use that specific tool so I do recommend it again the name of it is Remnux and I'll put a description down below so until next time happy hunting